Hey, what's going on, y'all? I'm on my uh. Fourth load. It's load number four for me. So at this place, this place is a nice place. They uh do everything for you. They do the load and unload the load and unloading for you, so yeah. I like this. This spot here at least. There's nothing else. So let me tell y'all a little bit of something about um, ATS and how they working. Um, so you get a, if you come over here, you want a lease, right? You start out with a one year lease, unless you're running teams. If you're running teams, then uh, the, lease, the lease will be a little bit longer. But you start off with a one year lease. After that one year, you decide if you want to keep the truck you in or if you want to get a different truck. They got a... They got a, a tap truck or something, something like that. And that truck or whatever, with those trucks, those trucks are ones that you can order from the dealership. ATS owns a uh, freight line of dealership up in St. Cloud, Minnesota. So you decide what you want to do when it comes to that. Outside of that, um, it's pretty much like leasing anywhere else. The only difference is over here, you get charged more money for uh, idling your truck. So the more you idle, the more money that, the more it'll cost you for maintenance, according to them. Like they charge you extra money for maintenance. Um, after you get a 30 day warranty on the truck, um, it'd be best for you to check your truck out very thoroughly when you come over and you get your truck because after them 30 days, your warranty is up with because the company will give you a warranty. So after them 30 days, it's all on you. Everything else is all on you. So you got that and then um, after that's all said and done, after your 30 days or your warranty or whatever, everything else is up to you. No matter if the issues was with the truck before, uh, before you got it or not, uh, you fail to say anything, so you gotta pay that price. Um, after that um orientation is four days day one you do your drug test your physical um if you haven't gotten your drug test or you, if you hadn't got gotten your drug test done prior to showing up for orientation um your physical if you got one that's valid that's a valid for at least a year i think it's six months to a year um you'll be fine they'll take that and um you'll be good on both of those ends other than that orientation is a few classes um with uh like a few powerpoint classes and then the rest of it is online training you go to uh luma it's the the program that they use now it's a uh, web-based training finish all the web-based training before orientation is over with on day one you'll also uh pick out the truck that you want So on day one, you also pick out a truck that you want, and then from there, you'll sign the cut. You'll sign a, 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 a lease also, but you won't. You'll sign the lease for your contract for the truck on day one. But there's a second signing on uh, Thursday, the last day of the orientation. There's another signing. That signing on Thursday is the uh, the one that's official. That's the one that's official. That's the one that's going to hold you to the fire. Um, 
outside of that, you either work with your recruiter. If you talk to them, let them know you need to go to the house after orientation. They'll get you a load. You'll meet your dispatchers and everybody. You'll get you a load coming to the house. And then after that's all said and done, you will uh, be off on your way. Now, me, I haven't had a, a major issue with them guys uh, yet. I had, did have an issue in the orientation. I just moved to Texas. And... Um, my license was still from Florida. And I asked them about that, if that was gonna be a problem before I showed up the orientation. They said no. And then after I got the orientation, they was like, well, we're gonna send you home so you can get that taken care of first. And I'm like, uh, nah, that's not happening. Y'all either uh, send me home with a truck or I'll leave home, I mean, or I leave here in a rental and uh, Lo and behold, y'all, y'all see I got a truck. So they sent me home in a truck. I just came home and got my license and everything in Texas. That's all. I came I came straight home from there. And uh did two loads, but I came straight home. First load brought me all the way to Texas. Second load took me closer to the house within Texas. And uh Yeah. I did that. Uh sorry I've been out for a little bit. You know, my wife had surgery, so I was at home worrying, uh, dealing with that, not worrying about this, uh, not worrying about, you know, YouTube and everything else. My wife had a surgery, so forgive me on that one. That's a little time I was out. Yes, I was still working during the time. However, um, with that being said, I was more focused on, you know, getting a job done and getting back to the house. Um, I gotta set up my GoPro a little bit better so I can get more more um, video footage and everything. So I'm trying to do better, y'all. Just bear it out with me. And uh, we'll go from there. I appreciate y'all. Thank you for liking, subscribing, commenting, uh, sharing, and all the other good stuff. And uh, y'all have y'all self a blessed day now. Continue watching for more loading footage, I guess. And uh, I see y'all on the next side.